Hello and welcome to week two, unit five of our Open SAP course, Introduction to SAP Datasphere. My name is Feline Appholz and I'm a business process associate consultant for the SAP Analytics and Insight portfolio. In today's unit, you will learn how to use the Impact and Lineage Analyzer as well as the Repository Explorer in SAP Datasphere. So let's get started. So this section is part of the series we call Know Your SAP Datasphere, where we talk about different aspects of the products that we don't touch in the exercises, but nevertheless are very important to know about. In this unit, I will talk about the Impact and Lineage Explorer, which is used to understand where objects get their data from, which other objects they influence, and how you can use that information to find problems in your data landscape. The first mode of the Impact and Lineage Explorer is the so-called data analysis. Here, you can find out where the data that is used in, for example, a view is coming from, or where it is used as a source for other objects. That way, it is possible to get an overview on the origin of the data, as well as where the data goes to on its journey of being consumed by the end user. The Explorer provides you with an end-to-end -end view across all spaces. You can access it via several different ways in SAP Datasphere, such as the Repository Explorer, the Catalog, the Table Editor, or the Graphical View Editor. Once you know where your data is moving, you can easily switch to the dependency analysis. This shows you a visual representation of all the metadata dependencies, as well as the transformations that are attached to the data models that you're looking at. The tool also shows you the objects that are not directly connected through a join or a union, but for example, via an association or if they are affected by data access controls. Again, in this mode, it is possible to see the lineage as well as the impact of the object that you're analyzing. You can find the dependency analysis in the same editor as the data analysis and also easily switch between them. In case you're looking for a view, a table, or any other object in the data and business layer, the Repository Explorer is your way to go. It contains an overview of all the objects that are available for you to work with. You can start your modeling work right here and search for the ob objects that you need to use. To ease the search, there are several ways to filter the objects. Of course, it is also possible to manually search for them or even put them into your favorites list. Let's now jump into the system to get an example of these functions. So we are currently on the home screen of SAP Datasphere. And when I navigate to this upper left corner, I can access the Repository Explorer right here. Now, the Repository Explorer shows me all the SAP Datasphere objects across all of the spaces of which I'm a member. I can filter the list by collection, so for example, um, by objects that I have created or those that I have favorited, for example, by space or by any more or multiple other criteria listed on this left uh, search bar. I can mark a favorite also by selecting the star right here. Furthermore, I also have the option to directly create objects as well as import entities or remote tables. I would now like to take a look at the sales order view and I can do so by just searching for the string um, in this search bar above. As you can see, I already searched for this previously. So besides the overview of objects, there are, there are several functions that I can use when I select one. So for example, the sales order view right now. For example, I can open the um, object in its editor, choose to delete, deploy, share, or copy it. Additionally, I also have the option to open the impact and lineage analysis. So let's take a look at the one for the sales order view. So the impact and lineage analysis shows me the objects that my object, such as the sales order view in our case right now, is dependent on and those that depend on it. So by default, we start in the data analysis tab. 
we now see a diagram that shows where the data that is used in our object is coming from. So in our case, the tables, sales order items, as well as sales orders. By clicking on them, we further have the option to show more details, open their respective impact and lineage analysis, as well as open them in a new tab. The object that we are currently analyzing is always highlighted in a blue color. The gray rectangle around our object signals the space in which we're operating. And in our case, all of them are part of the SAP, the open SAP course space. The number in brackets right here indicates the total number, the total number of objects in the space that are part of the impact or lineage of our analyzed object. In addition to their business and technical names, as well as their object type as indicated by this icon on the top left corner right here, object symbols can also display some properties. So this clock icon, for example, displays if the object is deployed. The canvas icon right here shows us that the object is exposed for consumption and can therefore be consumed by SAP Analytics Cloud or other BI tools, clients, or apps. We further have the option to show the impact of our object with this slide controller right here. So when I switch this on and zoom a little bit out so we can see all of it, we can now not only see the sources of our view, but also know for which, object it act, for which objects it acts as a source. So we, in, we are enabled an end-to-end -end view across all spaces. Here we can see that the sales by city view, for example, for which the sales order view acts as a source object is used in another space right here. However, I am not a member of that space and therefore do not have access to its objects. Therefore, if a user does not have the rights to access the data in specific spaces, they are also not able to see it in the impact and lineage analysis diagram. I can also search for specific objects using the search bar above. So when I search for population, for example, and I select the sales per city population view, um, the object's lineage and impact is highlighted, as you can see in this yellow color. The same applies to when I click on an object in my diagram. So I can also click on the sales by city view, for example. By clicking the reset button, we are sent back to the original lineage analysis window. If I prefer to display the lineage objects below and the impacts above the analyzed object, I can also change the orientation of the diagram to bottom up right here. While the data analysis mode focuses exclusively on data movements and transformations, the dependency analysis mode adds objects that are connected to the analyzed object by associations and data access controls. So let us switch to this mode right now by clicking on the dependency analysis tab. So when I now zoom out a little bit, we can see that we now additionally see objects that are not directly connected via a join or a union, for example, as previously shown, as displayed by these colorful links right here that are new. Those in purple display an association between the objects, such as right here, while the pink, such as right here, signals a data access control. Additionally, we now see a third icon. So this save icon right here indicates that an object has been persisted or replicated. Thus, it has its data copied locally to enhance the performance. Again, we can select to see either the lineage or the impact of the object we wish to analyze or both via these slide controllers. Regarding user permission, when I zoom here, you can see that I can see the products table that is shared from the open SAP master space, as you can see here, to our SAP open course space 
to our open SAP course space, but I do not have permission to see the sources of that table, for example, or any other object in the open SAP master space, since I am not a member of it. We can also open the impact and lineage analysis diagram from various screens. So for example, when I close this here and open the data builder and navigate to our open SAP course space and select the sales order view right here, we also have the possibility to open its impact and lineage analysis right here. Or when we are in the editor right here, I can also display the impact and lineage analysis via this icon in the toolbar. Before we end the session, let me quickly summarize what we have learned in this unit. Together, we went through the different possibilities to analyze the movement of your data, how to identify its sources, as well as the objects that are impacted by it. Furthermore, we discovered ways to identify the data that is available for us for analysis and quickly filter what objects we would like to focus on. To do so, we leverage the impact and lineage analyzer as well as the repository explorer. With that, we are now at the end of the unit. Thank you for listening and have fun with the next unit where you will learn about the catalog.